Hello everybody, this is Goddess Kendra. Thank you for joining me for another video. This topic is not suitable for children and strong language will be used. So the topic of discussion is George Zimmerman decides to sue law enforcement, the Martin family, and a publishing company for $100 million. So Mr. Zimmerman decided to file this $100 million lawsuit because he believes the Martin family, law enforcement, and a publishing firm defamed and maliciously prosecuted him. Now, this man has been in trouble ever since Trayvon Martin. He uh, shot Trayvon Martin in cold blood, 17-year-old, in 2012. He shot... Mr. Trayvon Martin, God bless the dead, I'll say, because he got his ass whooped. He reported Trayvon Martin as being suspicious because he had a hoodie on. I truly believe that uh, George Zimmerman is a fucking racist, narcissistic motherfucker who um, has sharp man complex. And like I said, he's a racist. He's... um stalked a prosecutor and a guy doing a documentary about Trayvon Martin when I read this this was published by the Washington Post on December 4th 2019 I'm sorry I'm late but you know I have to give the news I work two jobs so I'm busy a lot but like I said he was contacted by a man so he could do a documentary about Trayvon Martin and within two hours he called him like 28 to 40 times left 38 text messages and seven voicemails. He's also thrown a bottle of wine at his girlfriend. He's been in trouble for domestic violence twice. And it's just sad. I could never imagine losing my child because a racist, short, white man doesn't like my son because he's a beautiful, melanated king. And to put this lawsuit out as a slap in the face to Trayvon Martin's mother and father, his friends and family, and to make them relive that pain because you want fucking attention, it's just very upsetting when people don't see the wrong that they do themselves. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's very upsetting. And... In 2013, his homicide charges were dropped, so none of that stuff. But see, George Zimmerman wants to walk around and act like he's a fucking victim. How are you a victim when you got your ass whooped for being a racist and then you're trying to sue his family? Like, you're a straight bitch. Like, this guy is definitely racist and... I could only imagine not having my children or one child because this happens. How do you think his parents feel to have to re-live um, this pain over and over again? And um, Trayvon Martin's family, I believe the family, the publishing company, and law enforcement said that they have not received a lawsuit yet. But you're doing this shit out of spite. You're very narcissistic. And it just surprises me, not that I'm threatening anybody, that he's still walking around carefree like nothing happened. And I believe he had a GoFundMe and made about $100,000. How can you support that bullshit despite color? Right is right and wrong is wrong. So anybody, black, white, yellow, brown, that supported George Zimmerman, you're a you're a fucked up person and you support white supremacy and you wonder why as black people we can't grow and do better for ourselves like he got up to a hundred thousand dollars in a GoFundMe and I know people right now who have cancer that need medical treatment that can't get money but you're gonna support this racist motherfucker like come on now like I love my people I believe George Zimmerman should get the death penalty and immediately, not years and years later, don't let him think 
about what he did every day because he's not motherfucking sorry. Let him end his life and release his energy into the universe and not be breathing anymore. And this type of shit really upsets me because as melanated people, we get treated wrong. And then the fucked up part sometimes is we still support the whole entire system. And it's like, bro, you killed an unarmed teenager because you're racist and you have the fucking audacity to want to sue? You've got life fucked up, man. This is when I'm like, hmm, what's really going on? The people of Florida, how do you just know that this man is in your state and there's no repercussions because, you know, not that I'm threatening him in any way, but some people take action in other ways, if the courts don't go well, you know what I mean? But it's foul. It's foul. Like, this shit has my heart racing heavily because of this bullshit. And it's, it's, it's just hurtful. Personally, for me, I've had uh, friends get murdered by their spouse. And that hurts me, but it innocent child with the hoodie on. See, this shows you that most Europeans think that black people were just a bunch of fucking ignorant thugs. And when people actually sit down and get to know me, they'll be like, Kendra, you're very smart. Your intelligence is good that you are willing to learn. Yes, there is ignorant ass people in every single race and culture. There are racist people, culture vultures. But see, to me, I don't accept shit like that. My goal has always been to wake up the masses and make people think. Like, it just sickens me that he got away with it. And I believe one of George Zimmerman, Zimmerman's attorneys was an African-American lady. Like, you're a coon. You're defending this motherfucker who killed your own people? This is why they say just because your skin folk don't make you kin folk because you do have those coons who will go back and tell on us tell on us to try to get us in trouble when right is right and wrong is wrong. And this, imagine all the innocent black women, children, boys and girls who are killed that will never get justice. This shit just reminds me of a lot of things that has happened in our history. And like I said, we need to stand up for ourselves and not take this shit from these motherfuckers. I don't buy into this white supremacy system. My thing is, if you don't like me because of how I look, fuck you, the horse you rode on, fuck your mama, fuck your kids. I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, I'm going to be me. I'm still going to talk the way that I talk. I'm going to love my melanated, beautiful skin, and I'm not going to let nobody tell me otherwise. And people, my own family don't fuck with me, so I'll make somebody who doesn't look like me make me even care because at the end of the day... These Europeans, because I will not say all white people are racist, that's false. Most of these Europeans are the way they are because they hate their white skin. They hate their pale skin. Being pale skin ain't normal. You know what I mean? If you want to learn more about what I talked about, please, please, please read a book called The Isis Papers, The Keys to Colors by Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. You'll learn a lot and it'll open your eyes and stuff will start making sense. Thank you for um, watching my video. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification button. And once again, peace and blessings. And shout out to my number one supporter, Cypher Supreme TV. Please go subscribe to Cypher Supreme TV. Thank you. Have a blessed day.